What's up, guys? I wanted to uh, do a real quick video on this uh, ready cash drive that I got. I've actually had it. It's already out of the box. I just have this to show you all. It's from SanDisk, 32 gigabyte. A lot of people were wondering if you could use this as a SSD. You know, and obviously it is an SSD. It just comes with the little um, cache software, which. Uh, it's right above the hard drives. I doubt y'all be able to see it. Anyways, um, yeah, you can use it as a cache drive. You can put the software on it, or you could do what I did and put about half of the drive for Windows Ready Boost, or um, just use the whole thing as an SSD and put a few games on there or something. Um, Really, I, I wouldn't use the whole thing as a um, cache drive for ready boost because it, see, watch how fast it loads Windows. See that? It's already up. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. Had a little interruption there. Um, anyways, let's go in and show y'all. Actually, I have a name as I said, Frank. See, I have Ready Boost on here. I don't have anything else saved under it right now. Let me just show y'all. Um, where is it? There it is. See, I have about half, a little less than half for uh, Ready Boost. All that is Ready Boost. Nothing else is on it yet, but I still have um, 17 gigabytes. You know, you can throw a few games on there. Let me uh, let me show you how to how to do Ready Boost. You, you go to your drive. Now, first off, you have to actually. Um, there's other videos on this, but I might as well show y'all. Just watch what I'm doing here. You got to uh, go to disk management, and uh, if you got it plugged in right, and if it's working, it'll be red as one of these things, but it'll it'll say it's unallocated space. All you gotta do is right click, and it'll have the option there. It'll say um something quick allocation or something, I don't remember exactly what it says, but you, you'll be able to figure it out, it's really not that hard to uh, allocate new drives. Um, okay, let me show you how to do Ready Boost. Whenever you name it, and you gotta remember what the name of it is, obviously, and the size will tell you too, so, anyways, you right click, properties, wait, I can screw that up, we no, just do it from here, the same thing, right, correct, properties, okay, now, see, you're gonna have this properties menu. Try to zoom in there right now. Just go to ready boost. Don't I wouldn't really dedicate it because um I don't know, I've heard that ready boost only uses eight gigabytes, but I mean I don't know if it would allow you to use the whole thing if it didn't use more than eight, so I just went ahead and put a little little more than eight, just save the other half of it for um games and stuff. Alright guys, anyways, if you have any questions on it, just let me know. Uh, have a good day, y'all. Hey guys, I looked at a few things. Um, I think it cost $40, or maybe if it was maybe 45 I can't remember. It, it wasn't that much, though. Um, really, I don't know if you should just go for 64 gigabyte. I, I really just got this because I just wanted something I could use Ready Boost on. And still throw a few games on it, and uh. I, obviously, you can't expect to really use this as a Windows um, boot device because it's just kind of a not a big enough number, really. So, um, anyways, guys, uh, what else was I? Oh yeah, I am using Windows 8. It does have faster boot times than Windows 7, but I have to say, before I was using this as a uh, Ready Boost drive, it it did load a little slower, you know. Because I mean, there's a few important things that Windows puts on this faster flash memory during boot up that you know just speeds it up you know i mean there's videos on the internet of how it works and everything y'all can go look it up if you want anyways i think this is a good buy i mean it works good you know but obviously just just get an ssd pretty much um if you can't afford a big enough one to put the full thing like uh, not nah, excuse me uh, 
if you can afford 120 gigabyte, go ahead and get that, and um, put your operating system on that, and uh, you know, I mean, you won't have much space left over, but uh, well, you know, you'll probably still have 80 gigabytes left over. I mean, that, that's enough for a game, a few games, you know. So uh, yeah, I am in favor of the SSD. Alright guys, have a good day.